hi there. So I'm gonna pose a question. What the hell do you do? It's your wedding day. You've spent years and vast expense planning this. You've got your dream wedding day pictured in your head. You get to the wedding day and the heavens open. Torrential rain. What the hell do you do? Don't worry fam, I've got you. I'm Chris Denner and today I'm gonna to give you five tips on how to get amazing rain photography on your wedding day like this. So my first tip is don't panic. Honestly, don't panic. Wedding venues, wedding professionals, and wedding photographers, we've seen it all before. I have photographed weddings all over the world. I photographed a wedding in Jamaica on the beach in torrential rain, for God's sake. We've seen it before. Relax, that's why you've booked us. I know Alanis Morissette said it was ironic to have rain on your wedding day, but it hasn't got to be the end of the day. Don't panic, breathe, and we'll create images like this. So, Tip number two, sensible shoes. Bring a change of clothes, bring a change of shoes, seriously. If it's hammering it down on the wedding day and we wanna get outside to create some amazing portraits, the last thing you want is the groom's wedding shoes or the bride's lovely shoes ruined by the rain. We don't want that. What we want is for you to be comfortable. So the day before the wedding, I always ring my couples and I say, just bring a pair of boots. Honestly, I cannot stress this enough. It makes the world of difference. Usually a great photographer will be able to set up the photo and then just crop out any footwear and you've not ruined anything. Once you've completed your photo session, you toddle back inside to the venue, change shoes, no one knows. Perfect, right? And you create images like this. Third advice, embrace it. Bring a sense of adventure. Make the most of it. This dove does dovetail nicely into rule number one, which is don't panic, but make the most of it. Have a sense of adventure. Bring the change of shoes, get changed into your shoes, head out and trust your photographer. Any great photographer will have lots and lots of ideas of the way to capture the rain in the best way and give you iconic wedding photography like this really important that you have a great relationship with your photographer and you trust their ideas because they will have faced this numerous numerous times so if you want to create images like this all you've got to do is have a sense of adventure and trust your photographer now step number four is very unsexy but we have to talk practicality we've already spoke about shoes and footwear the next step is um sheeting for the floor i know that sounds really unsexy I always bring transparent and white sheeting. Now, if we're going out and it's been peeing it down all day, last thing we wanna do is drop the bride's dress onto the floor. That's the last thing we want, right? So what I always do is put transparent sheeting on the floor um, that then the dress goes onto, and so the dress is not in contact with the mud and the water. Pretty easy, right? But it makes such, such a difference. Also, prep out your wedding day in advance by getting some umbrellas. Now, I'm not talking about the massive golf umbrellas with logos on, unless you're really into logos. Um, try and get some white or transparent brollies that the photographer can then use. It will make such a difference. Don't rely on your venue to have umbrellas. Check out the weather forecast at the beginning part of the week. Be practical, jump on Amazon. You can probably get them delivered by the end of the day. So you wanna create images like this, you're gonna to have to prepare and make sure you've got the bits and pieces, the footwear, the umbrellas, the sheeting, ready to create that. And that brings me to my last piece of advice, and this should be obvious, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Nobody is gonna have wedding photography like yours. Nobody is gonna have wedding photography like yours. The rain, the photographer, you as a couple, the venue, you are gonna be creating something completely unique that nobody will ever be able to replicate. Think about all the steps that we've spoke about to get us to this point and then just release and enjoy it. Trust your photographer, trust the photography and you'll end up with photos like this. If you combine all of these steps and have a great attitude, you will end up with some beautiful, beautiful rain photography on your wedding day. Hope you enjoy that guys. I've been Chris Danner. This has been Indy, asleep as usual. We'll see you in the comments section.